Baseball hitting drills off tee. Hitting may be dangerous to your spine. Hey, what's going on? It's Joey Myers from the Hitting Performance Lab. Question, does taking the bend out of your lower back or having more of a hunched posture boost bat speed more than leaving the bend in? Well, I did a baseball swing experiment using the Zep Baseball app to find out. For more on the experiment research and setup, you can click the link that's directly below this video if you're watching this on YouTube under the Show More tab. The gist of the experiment is I took 100 counterbalance swings, taking the bend out of my lower back using more of a hunched posture, and then I took another 100 swings, maintaining the bend in my lower back. I wanted to see whether having more of a hunched posture or taking the bend out of the lower back boosted bat speed over leaving the curve in it. Let's see how the experiment results turned out. Hey what's going on again it's Joey Myers here and before we get into the experiment conclusion I wanted to explain and just kind of show what the different swings look like and explain how to get your kids into this position this hunched position air quotes. So here I'm just going to take you through the swing Got, we'll have both of them synced up and as you can see here we have the hunched posture on the left we have the normal posture here or no hunch on the right and what you're going to see is you're going to see just a difference in the pelvis position. Okay, so if I rewind back here, what we're seeing is, is you have to think about your hips or your pelvis like a bowl of water. Okay, if you tip it forward, then th that's usually what we call an anterior pelvic tilt. So anterior means front. So it means the, the water would be spilling out the front onto your feet. A posterior pelvic tilt is the opposite. So we would have water spilling out the backside. <clears throat> so we'd be tilting that bowl of water back and it'd be spilling and hitting your heels. So what we're doing with a hunch is basically using a posterior pelvic tilt, this is why you can see there's not really much of a shelf back here versus right back here. I've actually anteriorly tilted my pelvis so that I have more of a straight back, kind of similar to the Derek Jeter photo in the actual blog post and this is more kind of like your Hunter Pence type of swing. So how I get my players to do this is basically they know games, they know video games. So I tell them, I say, if you were going to sit on a bucket with no backing and play video games for four hours, how would you sit? They'd sit and most likely I'd have them sit on my bucket and they'd most likely hunch their back and get in that nice hunched or anti-evolutionary position, right? And so what I tell them is from that position, grab your bat, keep your, keep your, upper half and your pelvis in that position, grab your bat, still seated, stand up and still maintain that position in that standing position with your holding your bat. That is the hunch position. Your kids know how to get into the position because they're normally in that position, either at school, playing video games, whenever they're sitting for longer periods of time. They know how to get in that position, but mostly when it's sitting, when it's standing, it, and especially holding a bat, it's a little bit of a challenge, but that's how we do it. Now, let's check out the experiment results. Well, the jury is in answering our question of whether taking the curve out of our lower back or having more of a hunched posture, if it boosts average bat speed better than maintaining the curve in the lower back, the numbers are in, and here's what it came up with. So both the hunch and the no hunch we're taking the curve out of the back, we're maintaining the curve out of the back. The hunch, bat speed at impact was 81, and it was 81 for no hunch. Hand speed max was the same at 32 for both, and this is where it started to change. Time to impact for the hunch was 0.128, much shorter than the no hunch was 0.132. The bat vertical angle at impact for the hunch was minus 30 degrees, while for the no hunch, or maintaining the curve in the lower back, was minus 28 degrees. And here's where it gets most, or is most valuable, is the attack angle, or the barrel launch angle, or at impact, which for the hunch was negative one degrees, so we wanna be positive there, but it's negative one degrees, and for the no hunch, it came out to negative five degrees. So the jury is in, and it looks like the hunch, or taking the curve out of the lower back, is the winner, and I hope that we are swinging smarter by moving better, and before I let you go. The Hitting Performance Lab wants to know, did you know repeatable hitting power does not start in the hips? Have you heard the expressions, load and explode the hips, power comes from the hips? Well, we created a free video revealing the results of a scientific study that will show you how we added 48 feet of batted ball distance instantly, and it's not all about the hips. Click here now to get the video while it's still free.